up everybody this is chris with rainwater entertainment and it is game day i have a good friend of mine and owner tell everybody your name sir your team uh, i'm roy smith uh, i'm the head coach and owner of the north texas bobcats uh, we're based out of uh, oak cliff texas Oak Cliff, Texas. That's what I'm talking about, homie. And, and Roy, um, how long have you been owning, and what you know gave you the idea of getting into the owning business side? Well, um, I basically, well, I kind of came up with the idea of basically like making my own team, kind of on the fly. Um, you know, a couple of like eight months ago, uh, I was playing. I was playing for the Austin Wild, and then uh, I was unfortunately released uh, due to injury. And you know, I kind of fell into depression, and you know, kind of was thinking to myself, you know, what, 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 what motivates me on a day-to-day -day basis? And you know, it was coaching. You know, I enjoy coaching, and I enjoy developing players, and you know, I love competing. So you know, that's just basically kind of what the idea came from. And, you know, I kind of found some of my friends that you know are passionate and as motivated as me to play football, and things like that. You know, we kind of just basically put uh, multiple brains into one, and we made this team. And let me ask you this, man. I think I remember you telling me a while, while back that I'm thinking about starting a team. Mm -hmm. And you brought the vision to pass. So as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. how does it feel to knock that off your list, man? Um, it's actually a blessing, you know. Um, anything, when you have a vision or anything like that, you know, it takes time. You know, I'm not one guy that's just going to say, hey, you know, I'm just going to make I'm just gonna make a team. You know, it takes time. There's growing pains and things like that. So, you know. That's kind of that's kind of basically how everything kind of happened and stuff like that. And let me ask you this: mm -hmm. Tell us about the sacrifice between the difference between the sacrifice of an owner and a player. Ooh, well, <laughs> the sacrifice between an owner and a player is uh, it's actually, you know, when I first did this, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, it's just I'm just being an owner. Hey, coach, how bad can it be? You know, but there's a lot of time and investment. You know what I mean? towards being an owner, you know, versus being a player and just, you know, being a player and just like, okay, I'm gonna go ball, I'm gonna go ball out for 60 minutes, you know, cause anybody can do that, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, investing, you know, putting you, sometimes I'll be honest, like sometimes you have to put some of your personal money aside in order to make, in order to invest towards something Bring that you Bring that vision to pass. Mm -hmm. Wow. And with that being said, man, you came up with the idea, you brought it to pass, but then it came to fruition last week with your first win mm -hmm. how did your first win feel man oh man it felt bittersweet you know it was, it was actually bittersweet you know because uh all my coaching staff you know hats up to my coaching staff because we all put a lot of time and effort into this and basically put it all on paper you know and stuff like that and having a display on the field and it basically contributes to it towards a win but, you know that's great you know i mean that that's a blessing that's just bittersweet and, and, and tell us this, man. I got an opportunity to hang around your team today, hang around the team last week, and, and there's a togetherness about your team. Where does the leadership come from in the locker room? Uh, the, leader, the, the leadership within, within the locker room comes between everyone, you know, because everyone here is with, they have one, one vision, that's the one, you know. So basically, you know, if, if you know, if, if basically if we're, if we all have a goal, you know, and we're all trying to uh, trying to achieve something, and we all bring it into one. You know, what I mean, that's what a leadership Wait. comes in. You know, what I mean, we're just basically meshing meshing everybody's brains into one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's basically kind of what what uh, about leadership and things like that. And let me ask you this about last week's game. Uh, Y'all had a victory over the North Texas Savages. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, people underestimated you guys because, what, your first, this is your first year as an organization. Mm -hmm. So tell us how you guys put it together on the field, you know what I'm saying? And and, and you almost took the wheel away from the Savages. Y'all had a, a nice victory, a nice left side of the win almost. Mm -hmm. So what happened on the, the technical side of the game? Oh, uh, the technical side of the game, like, you know, we just had, like, I know the week one we lost to the crash, and we all just kind of came together and basically say, hey, what's the problem? The problem really is, the problem here is, we have we have a lot of stuff displayed on paper, but we couldn't put it out on the field. But last game, kind of everything molded into one. The chemistry came into about, and basically, kind of that kind of led to a, towards the victory. And you know what you can tell with the big plays that were made. It was so many highlights and big plays made by guys. So you know, you guys definitely made a statement. You know, 
Um, you also do some things on the side with your business, man. Tell everybody else what you do as far as helping out in, in the uh, neighborhood and in, in the community. Um, well, I'm, a, I'm actually a full-time personal trainer at uh, Core Fitness. It's uh, located in Oak Cliff, uh, off of Jefferson. Uh, I've been a personal trainer for about four and a half years. Um, What's the address there? Um, it's 508A West Jefferson Boulevard. Uh, I work with athletes. I work with adults, weight loss clients. If you're looking to gain weight, if you're looking to lose weight as well, uh, that's that's basically my my my, my uh, basically my seven seven a.m. to about eight p.m. six days a week. That's Perfect. Right. And last but not least, man, any shout outs, man, to friends, family, teammates? Um, I, I want to give a shout out to my mother. You know, because you know, without without her. <laughs> And without her bringing me into this world, I wouldn't be here. You know, um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Sly Walker. Uh, he was the owner of the TIGL. He's been, he was actually one of my mentors, and he, he kind of, I kind of, he kind of took me under his wing and taught me how to do everything as far as as far as like being a team and stuff like that, and being structured and stuff like that. Awesome, man. And I have to say this, man. You, he is a man of integrity. His brother committed to allow Rainwater Entertainment, man, to do his filming and has kept every word. So this is a man of integrity. Good luck, man, on today's game. Appreciate the interview, homie. Oh, yeah. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.